All right, people, so just so that you know that I'm not desperately poor and wondering where my next meal is coming from, I thought I'd show you my, my uh, mile stick. This is a proper one you can buy uh, from uh, art dealers and so forth. Uh, it comes uh, apart like that so that you can uh, put it in your painting box and so forth. There you go. Uh, there we go. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out the top and bottom lines of this uh, job here and I'm just going to uh, do this you see and I draw that pencil along like that uh, you can use China markers oh, they're very good for this sort of thing uh, they erase easily afterwards there we go whoopsie daisy there we go so that's going to be the top line of my uh, lettering and uh, we'll put the bottom there, so same thing again. Uh, wait a minute, wait. Let's just do this. Okay, good. Now, when you get experience as a sign painter, uh, you uh, you get an eye for. Um, you can actually almost see the uh, work before you execute it uh, when you've done it for a year or two. And you can look at a shop front or so forth, and you can uh, gaze up there and say, yes, yeah, so, yeah, that'll fit there, that's good. And uh, you might do the top and bottom lines and kind of do a bit of a sketchy thing. You don't draw the letters out. You, uh, that's all part of the, uh, you, you already know how to do it. And you, you can actually see, oh, yeah, the blah, blah, and so forth. All right, good. So we've got our top and bottom lines there. Now... One of the things about tuning up the, uh, the paint uh, viscosity is time also. So that brush has been sitting a while, so I'm just going to freshen it up in a bit of uh, raw um, uh, turpentine there. And uh, I'm just going to you know, wipe that off a little. And uh, I'm going to get my paint going again. And uh, because the viscosity is very sensitive, especially in the summer, and you could uh, even, you see I've got a, um, uh, a uh, I only illustrate, you don't use this as a sign painter, you don't use an hourglass, but I'm using it to illustrate the point that uh, you've got to keep that paint loose and useful. If you wait a few minutes and put your brush down while you have a cup of tea or talk to somebody, when you go back, even a few minutes later, then you'll have a, a problem. So you have to keep that uh, paint was a little sensitive. Now I've done something else here you might have noticed. You see I've fixed a little twig to that brush and there's a reason for this because it, uh, this is how uh, it'll all be working. I'll, I'll use my um, you know my backwards uh, mile stick here just to show you whatever you use is not that important as long as it does the job. Uh, I did show you my fancy uh, mile stick there just so you know. that. <laughs> Alright so let's have a look here now why I've put that twig there is uh, to illustrate something when a racehorse goes around a track it goes around with its head facing forward of course and a race car goes around with the front wheels pointing forward so the same thing happens with a sign painting brush and I've put that twig there to illustrate this point all right, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, just getting that brush working again on the work, we point, you see how that, that, brush, is actu that uh, brush is actually going around the track, just as a race horse or a racing car or any car would go, you see? So that's the secret of brush manipulation laid out for you right there see that oops i've <laughs> spoiled my own little rule there but um you actually lead the brush around you see that's what happens that's the secret uh, of uh, the sign painting brush so we'll just complete this exercise all right now i've, I've concentrated on the the outside of that uh, O there, and now I will uh, work on the inside. So, there we go. Let's 
Okay. All right. Now it's not perfect, and uh, maybe I'm getting a little rusty here, but I'm just going to improve that. And uh, there we go. All right. Okay, good. So that's uh, the reason I put that little stick on there, just to illustrate that uh, point there. Right? Okay. Not beautiful, not perfect, uh, but uh, there we go. Okay.